My name is Niklas Frank. I am the son of the butcher of Poland, Hans Frank, who was executed in the Nuremberg trial in 1946. They were monsters, they were not human beings, those Nazis. They were tried in the Nuremberg trial. A few got death, death sentences, but a lot got away with it. Attention! Tribunal! Judges from Britain, America... Russia. It was a trial of crimes that defied the imagination. Nazi leaders faced a court that established the principle of international justice. Seventy-five years later, we've been hearing from some of those who've lived in the long shadow of Nuremberg. Twelve million men, women and children have died thus, murdered in cold blood. Investigators put together a vast body of evidence in a trial that would shape the collective memory of humanity. Vengeance is not our goal, nor do we seek merely a just retribution. My name is Ben Ferenz. I am the sole surviving prosecutor from the Nuremberg war crimes trials. Ben Ferenc was a soldier and lawyer, and he was Jewish. But for him, seeing justice done meant leaving all personal feelings aside. I was able to make, turn myself into a robot. I didn't see the people as being Jewish or not Jewish. They killed also communists, they killed uh, gypsies, they killed any leaders of the uh, opposition parties and so on. I succeeded very well in regarding all the people who were victims as human beings. Uh, I never had the feeling of uh, vengeance, you know, to go in and kill them all. This Frank was a willing and knowing participant in the use of terrorism in Poland. Among the notorious defendants was Hans Frank, governor of occupied Poland, seen here in sunglasses. Four million died under his rule. For his son Nicholas, pictured with his father as a child of the Nazi elite, the 75th anniversary evokes memories of a haunting jail visit. He started to lie. He told me that we very soon will celebrate Christmas in our house at the Lake of Schliersee. And I swear to you, I was sitting there and thinking, why is he lying? He knows that he will be hanged. Why is he lying? Do you believe in the death penalty? Do you believe that that was the right course of action? No, I'm completely against the death penalty. But really I think my father had deserved the death penalty for one reason, that he should himself experience the same death fear which he distributed about 100,000 of innocent people. So many deaths to account for. Nearly quarter of a million children deported to Auschwitz. Ida Bach was 10 years old when she was murdered. She'd left her sister while in hiding in order to return to her mother. They perished in Auschwitz. She would have been alive, my sister, if she had come with me, but she left my hand. And that, I felt guilty all, all the time. When they put those German leaders on trial at Nuremberg, did you feel any sense of satisfaction? No, it was not justice for me, not at all, no. How many were uh, hanged? And it was, for me, it was too, too good to, to be hanged after what they've done, you know. For me, they were monsters. They were not human beings. Outside in the streets of Nuremberg, the one-time capital city of Nazism hears and reads a new message. They read, but do they learn? The British human rights lawyer Philippe Sands lost 80 members of his family in the Holocaust. Nuremberg has inspired his life's work. What it achieved was a precedent. New crimes were created. The crime of genocide, killing of groups, crimes against humanity, killing of individuals, and that sowed the seed 
the idea that for the first time in history, the state was not above the law. Nuremberg was a beginning, but the story at its heart of massacred minorities, of intolerance, stains humanity still.